Tonight, a mental health clinic to open in Euroa. Powerline technology to prevent bushfires in extreme weather. And the end of an era as two Baruga sporties step down. Good evening, I'm Bruce Roberts. Also tonight, a domestic violence victim urges others to speak up. A new mental health and wellbeing centre will reduce the waiting time for important services in the Strathbogie Shire, according to Euroa Health Professionals. Kate Reid and Tammy Clute say there's overwhelming support for the community health service approved by council this week. The Strathbogie Shire says the development of a new health hub in Euroa is a much needed and timely service for the community. Ashley Kanowski, Win News. It will be the end of an era when two Baruga Sports Club icons step down at the end of the month. Foundation board member Ray Nye will not seek nomination at the AGM, while chief executive of more than 20 years Greg Ryan is already in the handover period with his successor. When we return tonight, a new Merca school marks a milestone and a million dollar prize on the line in a Yarrawonga fishing classic. The chance of winning $1 million is set to make this year's Yarrawonga Fishing Classic the biggest on record. Organisers say the competition could see a lucky angler haul in a specially tagged cod and walk away with a cash. Aussie cricket legend Merv Hughes is encouraging anglers to get in early and register for one of Australia's premier fishing events. And now with a look at Friday Night Sport, I'm joined by Kate Watts. Bruce, thank you very much. Coming up tonight, Tatura aims for a turnaround cricket shepherd and season. And round three of the sidecar roundup hits Sundira. A current affair is next on Jam. Goulburn Valley riders will hit their home track at Undira Park Speedway for round three of the East Coast Sidecar Roundup tomorrow night. It's the first time Jason Truen, Ash Duncan and Jack Bentley will compete during the four race series. The Tatura Club has dismissed persistent rumours it is pulling out of Cricket Shepparton's Hazeman Shield competition. President Jimmy Pike couldn't be more defiant, stating his club is ready to go for the season opener against Marupna tomorrow. And Bruce, that is all in sport. Great, Kate. Thank you very much for that. After the break, we have the weekend weather details for you with Britt Ditterich and a special fly and raises money for a children's charity. Good evening. A strong cool change is gradually moving through this evening with refreshing southerly winds after another very warm day. Taking a look at the details, it was also very warm overnight. A low of 20 in Mansfield and then a top today of 26. 25 in Shepparton, very cloudy. 30 the top today at Tokemal. To the satellite, we had a bit of everything today with areas of sunshine, lots of cloud, brief showers and then some rain on the eastern ranges, all due to this trough. To tomorrow's forecast locally, isolated showers in the morning, reaching up to the northern country with the risk of isolated thunderstorms coming mostly sunny by the afternoon. 24 in Benalla, likely we'll see more showers there. 25 at Tokemall and 27 at Daniloquin. In Shepparton, a top around 25 degrees with a shower or two in the morning and the early afternoon. Down in Melbourne, heading for 19 degrees, it should be dry with sunny breaks. To the outlook heading into next week. Sunday, cloud clearing around the ranges. Sunny over the north and it should be all dry. 27 is the forecast at this stage for Shepparton and Yarrawonga. Monday, clear skies and becoming very warm. 29 at Yarrawonga, up to 32 in Daniloquin, 31 at Echuca. And for Tuesday, another warm day, but we should see cloud increasing with the slightest chance of a late shower developing, most likely around the ranges. But for tomorrow, a cooler day to start the weekend. Bruce. Britt, thank you very much for that. And that is how we saw news in the Goulburn Valley and Southern Riverina this Friday, October 16. And also for this week, we're looking forward to your company again on Monday night from 7 o'clock. If you do get the chance, you can find Win News online over the weekend. And we'll leave you tonight with some of the images from the Australian Piper Society's charity fly-in at Yarrawonga. Have a great weekend.
This has been a Win News presentation from Win, Australia's number one regional television network.